Okay, so we got all our updates done for uh, Dexter Industries, and that's up and running. It's always important to check on those updates to make sure everything's working. We've got uh, the Wi-Fi connected, and everybody's happy. That's going to be an important part, making sure we have internet connectivity going from the little Wi-Fi dongle to the router, out to the internet, and then connecting to Weather Underground. Right now, we're going to grab and we're going to connect these sensors. So this is going to run through a really quick test of the program to make sure that everything is working right. I use an offline editor um, in that it's not connected to the Pi. It's actually connected to my desktop. It's a little bit easier to work with. Uh, this is the rangefinder. Uh, so the rangefinder, we're going to connect it to uh, D4. And that was the exact same spot that we connected it to uh, on a previous project we worked where we did a uh, lamp proximity sensor. Uh, and then we're going to connect an LED. Uh, these all come as little component pieces from Dexter Industries. I like them. They're usually only a couple bucks each, which makes it really easy to uh, sort of test and work out these prototypes. So it's definitely worth uh, worth the money. Uh, a little, little something about LEDs. Uh, this is going to connect to this little uh, circuit board right here, and the LED slides in. Well, an LED will only work if it's flowing in one direction. So when you connect this, it's kind of hard to see, uh, but there's always a, a long pin and a short pin, and you always want to make sure that the long pin is facing in and the short pin is facing out. If you were to switch it around, the LED won't turn on. And that's good to know because you might think you got a dud out of the box. Uh, now the LED, uh, this is going to connect over here and I had said we were going to connect that to uh, D7 which is right here. This is so much easier than soldering it all in for sure. Uh, that connects there. There we go. Just trying to keep my wires as neat as possible. Uh, and then the little last bit, which is what I'm adding to the original code for this, is I'm going to use a buzzer to give me an audio notification if someone walks in front of the umbrella stand when there is weather uh, forecasted, or when there is rain forecasted in the weather. And that plugs into D8. So we've got D8, D7, and we've got our sonic sensor. Now we've got the... Uh, program called up here in Python and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a quick test for it. Uh, I'm kind of fortunate today because it uh, looks like we're going to get some rain. All right, that's as neat as I think I can get it. We'll need it up a little bit more once we connect it to the umbrella stand. Oh, this little guy is driving me nuts. Okay, so now I'm going to run the program over here and we're going to see how things are running. And let's see what it says. It says, rain today, take an umbrella. All right, you can hear the sensor going off. I'm gonna just slide out of the way of it right now. So we set that to 60 inches, which is uh, within two feet of the umbrella stand. So if I'm gonna move in front of the umbrella stand, like I'm walking to the door, the buzzer goes off. So I look at it, I said, oh, the little blue LED is flashing. I should grab my umbrella. I'm going to grab my umbrella and go. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, the only way to really test this, let me let me turn the program off. That's This is the control C uh, to interrupt the program. So the only way to really test this is if it's raining. And if it's not raining in your neighborhood on that day, then find a zip code within the area that it is. Just go to Weather Underground, take a look at a map of the United States, and if you can find a place that it is raining, just enter that zip code in. That way you can test this out before we go through all of uh, the parts of this to get it up connected to the umbrella stand. Right now, this is ready to go. I'm going to get some double-sided tape and we're going to make it look all nice and we're going to do a practical test. Uh, all right. So